morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I say good morning because it is almost 9 o'clock here in sunny South Florida, and it's Saturday, which means that it's kind of like not necessarily a bum out day, but it's more of a relaxing day. We'll probably grill later on and uh, hang out by the pool and drink some wine. So I want to put a look together that's going to be kind of natural looking and just easy to work with for the rest of the day. And so I'm super excited to try um, a kit that I received um, a few days ago. And if you watch the video right before this, you'll see the unboxing for it. And it is the Jane Iredale Pure and Simple Makeup Kit, and I have it in the shade medium. So I did receive this. Um, makeup kit from Influencer, and it was complimentary for testing purposes. I was already a huge fan of Jane Iredale, so when I qualified for this um, campaign, I was super excited. And let's just go ahead and get started. So I have nothing, I've washed my face, that's pretty much it. I have nothing else on. So I'm going to go ahead and put some primer on. And I'm going to use the Bella Pierre HD Makeup Primer. And I like this because it's kind of been an acquired taste in terms of a makeup primer. I found it to be kind of um, like almost, it reminds me a lot of the, is it the Smashbox? It has kind of like a greasy feel to it, but it's not, it, it like settles in, it does, doesn't stay greasy. And I think that was my initial reaction was kind of like, oh, it's kind of greasy, but then it went away. And I do have my mirror right here, so you'll see me kind of looking over to the side a lot. So I'm going to apologize in advance for that. So I'm all primed, and if you watch some of my Get Ready With Me videos, then you know that I tend to do my eyes first, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the, I just got this, it's the new Monica Dar, um, what's it called? Prime Time. It's an eye and lip primer. I'm not going to use it on my lips just because um, it's a little weird, but I am going to use it to prime my eyes, and it is a pretty creamy consistency. And I like that just because I feel like it's going to help to hold the eyeshadow and make it pop a little more, I guess. And it's so hot down here in South Florida that I feel like it's also going to help to keep it from just fading away into nothingness. So see how it kind of like brightens at the same time. And I'm only going to use the tools. Um, I am supplementing like you saw with a few other products, but I'm not going to use any additional tools. I'm only going to use the tools that come in the box. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. There we go. That's good. And now I have like this huge, I had a pimple. And of course, I messed with the pimple and now it's like a bloody mess there and I can't even cover it with concealer. It's horrible. So this is what the kit looks like when you open it up. It tells you everything that's in it. And then these are, this is kind of like a view of it. So I'm going to swatch the eyeshadows just so you can see what they look like. So there's two, there's Oyster and there's Supernova. Oyster is on the top and then Supernova is right underneath. I like both of these shades. I think they're very pretty. Oh, now that I look at them a little closer, Supernova is stunning. I don't know if you can even get it. It's, it reminds me almost of like a rose gold a little bit. Let me clean my fingers here. But I really, really like it. All right, and it literally comes with a little sponge tip applicator, and that's all I'm going to use. So I'm going to go in with Oyster kind of all over my lid, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So it's so funny. I haven't used one of these in such a long time. All 
but you know when you want to like pack on eyeshadow they're actually really good for that and like I said this is great for travel like it's so easy well I said it on my last video this little kit is great for travel because you don't even need to bring like a brush set with you even though I love my brushes but sometimes you don't want to carry too much stuff when we are going to the keys I'm going to take this all the way up to the brow bone. I know it's a lot of eyeshadow, but it's actually pretty neutral looking. It just like brightens the entire eye up. Um, I am going to the Keys on vacation with my kids and my husband. For a week and this is going to be a great kit to take along so I'm excited for that because you know when you're out doing water sports and things like that or just kind of lounging you don't want to like necessarily be all dolled up but you do want to look a little cute you know and what I love is that this is all mineral based makeup and the foundations even have SPF, so you can see that's all done. And now I'm going to go in with the other side of the little sponge tip applicator, and I'm going to go in with Supernova. I think I'm going to put that, I think I'm going to do, what am I going to do? Let's put it in the V. And I'm going to take it through the crease. And I'm going to also put it in the inner corner, not the inner corner, but like the inner lid part to create kind of like that halo effect. I'm going to go in with another layer. So I'm really liking how this eyeshadow blends. It's actually blending really easy and I like how it builds. Just take that through the crease one more time. I mean, the, I, know, I think I'm going to use my finger just to blend it out a little bit. There. I'm good with that. And then let's take it on the other eye. Same thing, I'm going to do the inner portion. I don't know if you hear it. Those are my dogs in their crates. So I'm just apologizing because they are so loud. What is she doing? She's chewing on her nails. She's so silly. Take that through the crease and then outer V. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend it with my finger just to kind of help it all kind of blend together. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more in my inner V just to really focus on that halo effect. And then I'm gonna go back in with Oyster again and I'm just gonna pop it in the middle. All right, so I'm done with that. And it also comes with like this little blush brush, foundation brush. I'm just going to use that to kind of help blend it all together. So I am actually okay with this for an everyday summer look. It's pretty just, you know what, chill and natural looking. I really, really like it. And that's what it's called. It's the pure and simple, and it's really, really what it is. So next up, I'm going to go in to do the foundation. And the foundation came in two shades in my box. It's in Warm Sienna, which is the lighter shade, and then Golden Glow, which is the lighter shade, the darker shade, I'm sorry. So I'm going to go in with Warm Sienna, which is the lighter shade. Both of these have um, SPF 20, UVA, UVB sunscreen protection. And I'm going to 
fold my brush in half just to kind of get it in there and then separate it and I'm just gonna go in Ooh, this is pretty light all right so I'm definitely gonna darken this up with the other shade but let me just kind of put this wherever I want a little bit brightening I'm just going to put it all over my face and then I'm going to go in with warm glow and just kind of darken it up a little bit. It is a little powdery, so you are going to get some kick up. Ooh, look at that right there. Get it down. Yeah, that's kind of um, not really a good shade for me. Let's darken this up. Even this is like still a little light. And this is the medium kit. But I feel like I'm kind of tan right now. So it's a little hard to like really judge it. All right, so I am pretty covered. Let me open it, because that's how I wanted to use the foundation. Oh yeah, much better. All right, so that is, try and get up close for you guys, for the foundation. It's just a powder foundation, so it's not, you know, what I like about it, it's got the SPF, and this is perfect for that just simple on the go. Next, I'm going to go in with the blush, and I have the blush in the shade Mocha. That's pretty. I tend to not overdo it when it comes to blush. <laughs> do we all do that? Like make a face when we're putting on blush? Oh, this is driving me nuts. I even tried to use concealer on it and I couldn't get it covered because it's like kind of open. Don't mess with your pimples. And I never get pimples. And of course, that's when I decide to mess with it. All right, so that's all done. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes. So I have two products um, that I'm going to use. I'm going to use for my brows. Super simple. I love, love, love this. It's the 100% pure green tea um, fiber brow builder or something like that. And this is in the shade medium brown. It's like a tiny little brush but I love it it's so easy I'm not one to like chisel my brows at all I just kind of fill them in a little bit and that's enough for me because I kind of have pretty good thick brows okay works for me and then for eyeshadow not eyeshadow eyelashes I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Without Cruelty full volume mascara very light A little bit on the bottom.
and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight with something new I just got. It's the Pacifica Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strobe, and it's like a doe foot applicator. So I'm going to dot it right where I want some highlight. And then I'm going to actually take that little blush brush and I'm going to blend it with this. So again, like, I'm not, I don't want to use additional tools. Look how pretty that is. This settles pretty quickly, this um, liquid stroke thing. And I'm going to take a tiny bit with my finger and just put that in the inner corners and slightly on the brow bone, just for some added shimmer. I love it's sunny outside, so I love when highlighter hits like those little marks and you're just like glistening in the sun. Okay, last up is the Lip and Cheek Stain, which is the product I've been most curious about because it is meant to adjust its color based on your own chemistry. You can see it's pretty clear or like a flesh tone kind of color. Ooh, smells so good. So I have it in the shade Forever Pink and it literally goes on clear, but look, it's already kind of starting to change color. Oh, this is so freaking cool, you guys. So natural. It's super soft. It's not um like ultra greasy or anything like that. It's not sticky at all. I don't know what the staying power is because I'm literally using it for the first time. But it does look how it changes color. Pretty? You like it? I like it too. All right, so thanks for sticking around with me to the end of this video. I was excited to give the Jane Iredale Pure and Simple Makeup Kit a try. I think um, the next shade, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, look, it's even the foundation is starting to kind of adjust to my skin or maybe um, the medium dark, but maybe that wouldn't even be too dark for me. So there are four shades. There's light, medium, no, light, light, medium, medium, and medium dark. And this does retail for $33 on the Jane Iredale website. And it's definitely something that's great for travel. And I recommend picking it up. This is like such a pretty natural look. I feel like Cindy Crawford or something with like my thing there. All right. So anyways, thanks for sticking around and checking it out. Have a great weekend. Bye.